Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, here I am. What in the heck am I doing? I've decided to start a vlog. That's insane. I know. Why would I want to do this? Well, my bonus daughter, Jenny. She's 15. She's got this little vlog thing going on. I've been watching all of her vlogs and I think she's onto something. It's kind of cool. But I was thinking, hey, why not do this for adults? You know, like me. After all, I am 51. For God's sakes, I'm an old man. But I'm not that old, and I do like adventures, and I love going places and making cool videos, so... What the heck is this, Grand Central Station? What? Huh? I think we can have some fun with this. I'm gonna try to do a 10 minute vlog once a week, and uh, probably go off and uh, complain about stuff. I'm really good at that. Uh, we'll do some fun stuff, crazy stuff. I don't know, I think a day in the life of me could be kind of interesting, and I do some crazy weird stuff, so hey, this is it. Number one of my vlogs. Here we go. <laughs> so let's start off with me. I spend most of my day sitting right here in my makeshift little office, which is in the corner of our bonus room, and uh, this is where I do all my stuff. Um, I've run a limousine company here in Olympia for 27, 28 years, and that is primarily what I do. I do a lot of driving, and I think we'll start off by going on a drive together here soon. But uh, what else do I do? Well, I put on these cool bus tours to Leavenworth, do Oktoberfest, uh, Christmas lighting festival, uh, wine tours, and uh, so I do five or six of those a year. And then I also put on some comedy show events, and I usually do that at the Washington Center for the Performing Arts. So right here is where I set all that stuff up, make my reservations, do my stuff, uh, whatever, manage everything. Right here, right here. So right now, one thing I'm working on is my next comedy show, which we have a big one down at the Washington Center on June 7th, Friday. Tickets on sale, so I hope you get them soon. Uh, this is a new event I'm starting called Ha Ha Palooza, which we're going to do every year. We're going to feature a whole bunch of national uh, touring comedians. And so this year is uh, the beginning. And so a lot of times what I do is I'll show up at this desk, and uh, first thing I want to know is how are ticket sales going. So we'll go to the, as I do this, like five times a day. So here we got the main floor of the Washington Center. And we're doing pretty good. We've got quite a few uh, uh, seats sold there in the center. And then the loge is open, so we go and check that out as well. Um, that's okay, not too bad. So for about three and a half weeks out, we're at about 200 and some tickets, and that's, uh, that's pretty good. But if we wanna hit 500, so that's what I'm looking for. Of course, the other thing, and the most important, is checking out the limousine reservations, making sure everything's scheduled, all the cars are where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Get your driver's license, man. The drivers know what's going on. Much more intense daily operation than my comedy or bus stuff. There. It's okay! I'm a limo driver! So that's just kind of a standard day kickoff and uh, things I check on throughout the day. Keeping me company out here is Oliver the Bunny. He's a cool little rabbit. you got the basics that's kind of how my day starts how it goes and uh, throughout it I just try to have as much fun as I possibly can and I want to share that a little bit with you so I'll give a little teaser on uh, the next vlog that I want to work on one big thing in my past is uh, in 1991 my club the North Shore Surf Club our first live band was Nirvana And there's an awesome story that goes along with that. Dave Grohl's first show with Nirvana. So I'm gonna dedicate the next vlog to that entire show and kind of the music scene that surrounded that and all the crazy stuff that went on around that show. 
So that'll be the next vlog. But right now, let's just jump right into the, the next four minutes and have a good time. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Pour the double cheese and sausage. Right here, dude. <laughs> Oh, the 80s. The 80s were a fantastic time. I turned 12 in 1980 and 21 in 1989. Everything significant that shaped me happened in between. I grew up, experienced so many things, got my driver's license, turned 18. Uh, there was nothing like the 80s. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love the no social media aspect of it. The fact that we went out and met people we cruised. Uh, everything cool happened in the 80s, and I would go back in a heartbeat. Whoa! We're gonna skip right to my sophomore year. So my last three years in high school were spent at Timberline High School, and I went through three different major phases probably in my life during that time. Starting out sophomore, New Wave was a huge music influence, and uh, you know we were just way into the Cure, Depeche Mode, Dead or Alive, and Everybody dressed like freaks, and the girls were smoking clove cigarettes, and we were all drinking California coolers. And, uh, it was a major nightmare for parents, I am sure. You know, I just hung out with an array of people here, but I had some really good friends, all these crazy waivers. Dan Warrett um, went on to become a super rave DJ, DJ Dan, and he's still on the scene to this day, but I remember him back in the day when I went to school here with him. We were 16, 17. He was a fashion guru. That guy could recreate guest products that looked authentic. And we would spend uh, a day here or there, we'd skip school, and he would have made a bunch of guest jackets, like made them, made them look exactly like the real jacket. And we'd spend the day going up to Seattle, and we'd stop at every Frederick and Nelson we could stop at and return these guest jackets for 250 bucks a piece. But we'd have $1,000 by the time we hit Seattle. And we would just hang out all day. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't went into the fashion business and instead he became this massive DJ, but started me in the direction of, of music. Music shaped me, uh, everything about music. It speaks to me, it's every part of my life, and uh, there's always a beat and tune going on in my head. By the time I became a senior, the Beastie Boys had come out. Uh, that License to Ill tape never left my tape deck in my little tricked out Toyota Celica, but that's the 80s, and uh, that kind of pushed me in the direction that I'm still going today. Looking at that wave and saying, hey bud, <laughs> let's party. <laughs> so, what would you little maniacs like to do first? Oh, hey, I hope you just enjoyed that awesome vlog, right? Was it awesome? I don't know. It was my first one ever, but uh, next week, my next one is going to be dedicated to things that take place in the 90s, specifically at the North Shore Surf Club and the Nirvana Show, uh, 1990. So uh, make sure you check that out. It's a cool story. It's, uh, it's a crazy, crazy time. So 
like, subscribe, and uh, I gotta get this car cleaned up because it's gotta go on a job and, and keep supporting me. So, till next time. Whew. Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Really fast. Seems just like yesterday. And uh, one more time, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That way we can hang out again.